In 2006, two scientists devised an incredible studying experiment. They wanted to discover what was the greatest way of learning information over time. And the findings will shock you, man. If you understand this from the research paper, you will study half the amount of time and score higher than your peers. Let's begin. So what did they do? They wanted to see what was more effective. Studying something over and over and over again or testing yourself over and over and over again. And there's two groups in the experiment that I want you to focus on. The first group is called the study group. It's a group that studies information, but take tests very rarely in their studying process, as compared to the testing group who take a lot of tests. After undergoing each of their respective sessions, they were asked to come back a week later to see how much information they retained. Now, before I tell you the results, I just wanna tell you about the confidence levels of both of these groups, okay? To set things into perspective, the study group were very confident about their ability to do the test. And the testing group were very scared. They were not confident at all. So who do you think scored the highest? The testing or the study group? The testing group. So your question is, why did the group that studied the most score lower than the group that took tests and they kept failing because of how little they remember? Let me explain. Now, Andrew Huberman explains this perfectly. When you are exposing yourself over and over again to the same information, you think that you understand it, but you are merely exposing yourself to it, and it's a passive process. Meaning, if I look at a textbook, and I keep coming back every day, and I look at the same textbook, I am not learning anything. Even though I'm more familiar with it, I'm not actively learning anything. None of my neurons are getting activated. But when you test yourself, Something happens in the retrieval of the information. Something happens in the error that you make in a test that seems to lock the information into place. And nobody knows why exactly, okay? But it's so effective at making you remember information. So as you can see, there are two very different processes. And this is why you hear a lot of students that say, I studied a lot, I think I'm going to fail. Yeah, but they get very high grades. Why? Because... They're used to that process of doing something and then getting it wrong, then doing something and then getting it wrong. So when they actually do the real test, they think they're going to fail or get a very bad grade, but they get a very high grade as compared to someone who's what? On the study group. Do you know how much tests improve your retention of information after one test? So let's say you're studying something and then you take a test. It improves retention by 50%. Imagine. 50% just because of that one test. Before I show you how to implement all of this into your daily routine, I just want to tell you this. Work done by Chuzuko Izawa really shows you the power of testing. She discovered something weird with testing. And that is when you take tests, it causes your brain to change. And it makes you better not only in that test, but in future tests. It improves future study sessions in all all disciplines, not just in the subject that you study. It makes you acquire information more easily over time. So how can I take all of this and make it practical? Okay, let's say you are studying for something, okay? Rather than you studying for something over and over and over again and then testing yourself, you study it for a bit and then you test yourself directly after. And then you study for a bit more and then you test yourself again. You keep doing that. You make the testing, you put the testing very early on in your studying regimen. And that will save you a lot of time. Why? Because like we said, because if you study something over and over and over, it's passive. It will take you a really long time to actually remember and grasp information. If you want to save time while studying, test yourself very early on in your studying. You'll see how much your grades improve, but also the time that you save. Because rather than studying something over and over and over again, you just study once, you test yourself, and then you address all these gaps, and then you're done, you know? Here's the thing. If you want to take this to the next level and save more time, you take zero notes. And I've linked the video here on how to do that and excel in everything very, very quickly, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to conclude it here. Takbis, I'd like to help me on my journey on YouTube. And as always, assalamu alaikum.